About a week ago, I posted a video showing you guys over 20 tips and tricks to get the most out of your Pixel 9 Pro Fold. And if you thought I was done with tips and tricks, you were sorely mistaken because today we have a handful more. And the first one that I want to talk about is something that I need to give you an update on. I already talked about this app once. It's something called Quick Cursor One-Handed Mode. And the purpose of this application is to basically give you a one-handed mode on devices that don't have one. And unfortunately, the Pixel 9 Pro Fold does not have a built-in one-handed mode. Now, this application did have a problem with the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, but the developer of the application has fixed this problem. I actually sent them an email, and they very, very quickly identified the problem, patched it, and they have now sent out an update into the Google Play Store. Let me show you what this app does really quickly. All right, so I have my Pixel 9 Pro Fold. I have loaded up threads, and let's say that I'm trying to get to that menu item up there in the top right corner. On a lot of phones, even other Pixel phones, I can simply swipe down here at the bottom. The screen will shrink down, and I can reach that menu item. But on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, it does not have a one-handed mode. So what this application allows you to do is this. I can swipe in from this corner, and now I have a cursor that I can drag up into place, and I can do exactly what I need to do. I can tap where I need to tap, and that works really, really well. Now, the way that this works, if we go into the app settings, is you're able to sort of change where these zones are. So you can see that I have mine down here at the very bottom, but you can adjust it around and put it wherever you want it to be. You can move it up, move it down. I leave it down here because when I do my back swipe, it tends to be right around this area. So I can come down here and get to the quick cursor just fine. But again, you can customize this thing to your heart's content. Now, like I said, there was an issue before that made it so that whenever you opened up your Pixel 9 Pro Fold, you would get this black screen delay. As you can see now, this problem is completely resolved. And of course, it's just as at home on your inner screen. This is a very large display. So having the ability to drag that cursor on that one as well makes a lot of sense. Drag it all the way to the top and you're actually going to get your notification shade. Another really nice feature of this application. And I also want to let you know that the developer was kind enough to give me 50 pro codes that can be redeemed inside the Google Play Store. I'm going to post some of them in a pinned comment down below, and I'll post more of them on my Threads account. Link to that in the description down below. To redeem those, you're going to jump into the Play Store, click on your profile up in the top right, look for Payments and Subscriptions, and then you should see redeem code there, paste that in, and you should have access to the pro version of the app, which gives you a whole bunch more customization. Again, huge thanks to the developer of Quick Cursor. I don't want to attempt to pronounce your name because it's just going to be disrespectful, but again, thank you. Speaking of that large screen, the next tip is something that I have to thank Matt here for. He pointed this out, this is something I did not actually know had rolled out and was a released thing. So let's jump back over here and we're going to go into an application. We'll just go back into threads because that's what I had open last. And you can see my taskbar is permanently down there. That's because I have long pressed on that little divider between where it shows your app drawer and your other applications. If you long press on that, you can toggle this on and off. So you can see now that taskbar is going to hide itself. I can do the quick swipe up long press on that divider, toggle it, and now it's going to be permanently shown down there without having to switch away from gesture navigation. This is a pretty cool one. Let's talk about Google Gemini. A new feature that these Pixel 9 devices have that I don't think enough people know about is the ability to use screen context for Gemini. So you'll notice whenever you hold down your power button, it's going to give you this animation showing that it has basically scanned your screen and you can click on ask about screen. So it's going to use basically a screenshot or if you're in Chrome, it's going to use the URL. So you can ask it to summarize a web page. But I think my favorite way of doing this is in YouTube. We're going to jump into the video that I posted this morning, my review of the Pixel 9 Pro XL. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it to summarize that video. And you can see here, ask about this video. It knows it's on YouTube. So we're going to click on that and we're going to say, summarize this video. And it's going to quickly use the transcript of the video 
to give you a summary of the video or to give you whatever you need. You can ask it whatever you want. You can see here that it gave a pretty darn good synopsis of my video that is really, really cool. This next one is one that I guess I've just taken for granted, but apparently a lot of people do not realize this is a thing. Did you know that on your Pixel 9 Pro Fold, you can very quickly double click your power button to launch your camera? If you didn't, now you do. And let's talk about gestures like that a little bit deeper. If we go into our settings and we scroll down to system, we are looking for gestures there on the right. And you will see that there are a few cool options here. So quickly open camera is obviously the one that we just talked about, should be on by default. But look right above that, quick tap to start actions. If we go into this, what we're talking about is actually tapping the back of the phone to do different things like take a screenshot, trigger the assistant, play or pause media, and also just open different applications. So let me show you how this works. So I've turned this on and I have set it to toggle flashlight. If we go home and I tap on the back of the device. Let me take off my magnetic grip to make this a little bit easier. If I double tap right there, there's my flashlight. And if I tap again, it should turn off. Now, I will say that for me, this is one of these things that is a little bit finicky. It doesn't seem to work perfectly. You can have it require stronger taps. You can set it to different things. It's up to you. Another cool one in here is the ability to flip the camera for a selfie. So if you're in your camera application, all you need to do, just like you see in this animation, is a little twisting motion back and forth and it will actually switch to your selfie camera. Sometimes you've got your phone in one hand, you're pointing it out and it's hard to get to the button. Just a quick twist like that and it'll flip around for you. If we jump into a space where we have been typing, this is another one that I left off in the Gboard section that I don't think a lot of people know about. If you've ever been typing and you needed to change one letter or something like that, you know how difficult it can be to sometimes just tap right where you want to change a certain letter? It's very difficult. Did you know that if you press and hold on the space bar and then drag, slide your finger left or right, you can move your cursor back and forth to get it exactly where you want it to be? Last but not least is the fact that you can still change the aspect ratio of individual apps. As you can see here, Twitter is a little bit broken on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. And some applications just won't work correctly in a full screen orientation. This is particularly broken, but you know what I mean. Some apps just don't really work great in a square aspect ratio. What you can do, there'll actually be a pop-up that will appear in the bottom right-hand corner of the app whenever you first open it, but you can also swipe up to get to your recents, click on the app up top, click on app info, and then you can scroll down until you see aspect ratio experimental, and then you can change it to different options. Let's do three by two for Twitter, and you'll see that that does fix it. There we are. So now what we have are black bars on the left and right, pillar boxing, if you will, but it has at least fixed the application. The good news is very few apps require me to do this these days. This aspect ratio is just more conducive to phone apps than the original Pixel Fold was, but there are still some offenders and you have the option to fix it. So guys, there you go. A handful more tips and tricks for the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.